Welcome back to Art Adventures, the only show where I like to switch it up all the time and just, you know, try everything. So today we're going to do another cityscape painting. You can tell this series is becoming serious because I made an intro. I totally would have come up with a more creative name than Art Adventures, but I couldn't think of one. I mean, it's a good thing this isn't called Creative Adventures. Crap, why isn't it called Creative Adventures? Anyways, today we're going to be painting this scene at East 108th Street and Park Avenue in East Harlem. Again, I got this reference from Google Street View, and I've always thought that the Park Avenue Viaduct would be a really interesting subject to paint. I happened to find this view with a Metro North train passing up top, and I really liked the lighting and the shadows. Alors, allons-y. I didn't spend too much time with the sketch, I basically just wanted to make sure the center of the main tunnel was on a third, or as close to a third as I could get. Um, same goes with the tower on the left. Um, yeah, I honestly feel like this has been one of the simpler compositions, yet there are so many like interesting things going on. Also, I was debating whether or not to make this a vertical or horizontal composition because, I, th I mean, I thought both looked really cool. But I ended up going with the vertical one because... Actually, I don't really know why. I, I mean, I just like heard this composition calling out to me for me to paint it, I I as one casually does. Wait, you mean you don't just hear pictures telling you to paint them all the time? Huh, weird. Now it's time for the paint. Since the sky was really bland, I thought about adding in some clouds, but I actually thought that the solid sky would help tie in the large areas of shadow on the street and would feel a bit more cohesive. I'll be honest, I kind of just BS that reasoning right there, but hey, it works. The thing I really wanted to emphasize is the really strong shadows. I ended up artificially darkening them a bit so they would give it a bit more contrast. I also ended up using a pretty saturated coat of normal violet with a bit of burnt umber and phthalo blue. Same thing with the bridge slash viaduct in the background. I wanted to make sure that the stone felt really heavy in comparison to the airiness of the tree on the right and the texture also contrasted really well with the sleekness of the Metro North train. For the stone or brickwork pattern, I don't know which to call it, um, I ended up just using a flat brush to kind of just tile it in. Um, I feel like maybe I should have used a smaller brush, at least for the angled bricks around the edge of the arch, but I was too lazy. It's fine though, because the great thing about watercolor is that you can get really loose, suggestive strokes, and the eye is just kind of able to fill in the rest. 
Side note, speaking of Metro North, since this is a Metro North train, this doesn't have anything to do with the painting, but if this whole art thing doesn't work out, do you think I should become like an announcer on the train? Like an automated voice or something? This is 125th Street. Transfer is available to the 4 and 6 trains. Transfer is available to the M60 Select Bus Service. Connection is available to Metro North. Yeah, yeah, I, I think I'll just stick with art. And now for the actual painting. Ta-da! See, I actually ended up holding it upright. Hey look, it's the thumbnail. So one of the things that I really wanted to preserve from the original uh, source photo was the, the kind of lightness at the end of the tunnel. Uh, the tree in the foreground is more like, I, I don't want to call it like more saturated, but it's, it's definitely got more contrast and the colors feel you know, like more richer versus the trees in the background, like at the end of the tunnel, they feel to be like almost solely like really light green and really like almost like yellow completely. And so I really wanted to try and capture that feeling. Um, I think I did a fairly good job. They're definitely not as vibrant as I wanted them to be. So, um, I mean, it's fine, I guess. I don't, I don't know, I'm kind of talking about this like I don't really like how it turned out, but I actually really do like how it turned out. I think, yeah, like everything just really came together. I especially like, you know, the, the traffic lights, just the kind of splashes of really light uh, colors on this really dark background. It just makes it so interesting. And the fact that like the, the telephone poles, well, they're not telephone poles, the poles for the traffic lights are kind of, like they're they're kind of disjointed. Not not in the sense that like they're not a straight line, but in the sense that like they kind of fade into the that stone background really well. And so I really like the effect that I was able to get there. Also in the reference, you'll notice that the tower on the left is actually kind of bland and kind of all just you know one color and I didn't want to leave it like that especially since I have such an interesting texture overall and I also needed a bit something to uh, balance out and contrast the the kind of sameness of the sky that I ended up putting in so I ended up kind of just darkening some areas that I thought would logically make sense and yeah it, it honestly worked out pretty well oh also if you'll notice there are like some construction um I don't know what to call them barriers right construction barriers there I think that's what they're called at least but I was originally debating whether or not I should include those because you know sometimes artists like to kind of just remove little things that don't really work or like that aren't really aesthetic enough but you know at the end of the day I thought about what I really wanted to capture with this and I really want to go for more of like what does New York actually feel like at least just walking around on a day-to-day -day basis I don't know like, you, you'll just notice that there are so many like construction projects or just like scaffolding that it's set up somewhere and you run into it almost all the time so much so that it almost becomes just like a quintessential part of New York and so I thought that leaving those in there would kind of help represent that. As always you can find this painting on my Etsy. Um, I guess if you like this video like, comment, share, subscribe, bell, I, I don't know, do all the things that the YouTubers ask you to do. Anyways, thank you for watching, merci pour avoir regardé et ça c'est tout.